confusion, one man will break his silence. Hello, I'm Paul Duncan, also known as Mr. Moderator. Today, I want to cover the topic of how do you deal with multiple moderators on a live stream? How do you balance the load of that? This question has come up several times, and I've been asked by a couple of friends to cover it. Kind of depends on what the stream is. If it's an event, then generally speaking, depending upon the number of moderators and the number of attendees that are expected, the roles are kind of laid out. Who's going to be maybe doing playing greeter? Somebody else may be handling a lot of the, you know, the links. Others may be watching for spam messages or something like that and cleaning that out. It's kind of depends. Um, and if it's not, then you kind of just you know, work together as you start going through the stream and, and dealing with what comes up. On a weekly stream that you may be doing for a content creator, generally it's just whoever shows up does certain things. Over time, you may start to learn that certain people are doing you know, certain things. Somebody may be handling a lot of the links and stuff like that. Somebody else may be handling greeting, you know, saying hi, all that stuff. And then everybody's kind of dealing with spam messages, you know, if they see it or coming in. And there's always going to be that time where something will come up and three, four moderators will suddenly post the same link. It's, it happens. It's okay. If you want to, one of the moderators can remove their comments or their links, the double postings, whatever, you know, to kind of clean things up so that on the replay, you don't see all of those coming in. But it's not a big deal. It happens. You know, it's, it's you know, the world is not going to end because of that. As I said, over time, you just kind of get used to the flow and, and who's doing what. Some streams have back channels. If that's the case, you can always type on that back channel, be it Slack or a, um, a group message, you know, a Discord channel or something like that for moderators. You know, type in there and you know, ask questions. If you know, do you want me to handle this? Do you want me to do that? That's always possible too. But you know, as I said, with multiple moderators, you know, it's most of the time, it's just you kind of over time learn who's doing what, and just go with the flow. Streams are very organic. Once they get started, you know, they just kind of, you know, take on their own, you know, characteristics and you just have to see what's, go what's happening, deal with things as they come up. So it's not hard and fast, just work together. Not all the moderators are always on the same channel at the same time. I've been on streams where nobody else was on. There were seven moderators listening and watching the stream. It was kind of like a wrench convention. And then sometimes it's the opposite, you know, tons of guests and there's only a couple moderators and you just, you just work with what you've got. Enjoy the stream, enjoy the content that's being shared, you know, have a good time. So hopefully that's helped. If you have any questions, if you want me to expand on anything that I've talked about in this series up to this point, or if you have topics that you want me to cover, put them in the comments below. I'll address it in one of the upcoming episodes. I'm here to help you be a better moderator. With that, I want to say thank you, and we'll see you on the next stream tomorrow.